Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint. And today we are learning about another famous artist. Oh. This is made or inspired by a painting by Henri Matisse. Henri Matisse. <laughs> and he's a French artist, so we're gonna paint a painting inspired by him. So the supplies we're using are our watercolors. I would grab any colors you have, but we're using magenta, deep yellow, and azure blue. And then we're gonna use our color mixing guide that came in your box mm -hmm. to be able to mix all the different colors because you can paint this however you like because that's what we do here. And then the other thing, you always have your paintbrush, paper towel, and your uh, palette and a cup of water. But the other thing is you'll notice, you see how this is 3D? Ooh. This is made with pipe cleaners. What? So grab that from your box. Grab a few colors because we're going to just use a few of them. And I'll show you how to use those in the last step. And then in order to do that, you will also need Elmer's glue. So set those things off to the side. Now, the first step is we like to say our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <gasps> Boom. And I think we need to add to this motto is that you are an artist. So I want you to say, I am an artist because you are today. And we are learning about Matisse. So he had these, this cool style of paintings and actually they were cutouts. They were paper cutouts, really? but towards the end of his life, he would make these really cool shapes. So they're, I'm going to call them blobs, but what we're going to do is we're going to paint those again in any color that you like. So first step is let's squeeze out the colors that we do have. We have magenta, yellow, and blue, and I'm going to skip every other one because we're going to quickly make the rainbow. So we got our, our fuchsia, you can mix red. I wanna make some orange. So that's six drops of yellow, a lot of yellow, <laughs> and one drop of magenta. And then I'm gonna mix that because the magenta is really strong, so that's why you only need one drop. So there's my orange. Every time you switch colors, I want you to swish your brush in water. And then I'm gonna keep going. Let's make this teal. This is a really cool color. So let's do one drop of yellow and one drop of blue, because teal is more blue. So that's why I'm gonna have the strong blue. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And then let's keep going. Let's make a uh, purple. So purple is two drops magenta, one, two, and one drop blue. So those colors make purple. So you just made the whole rainbow of colors. Isn't that cool with just three colors? That's craziness. Art is magical. Art is magical. <laughs> okay, so now that you have all your colors, any time you are painting, I want you to use any color you want. So pick a color, and we're gonna kind of be inspired by his shapes, and we're just going to really just paint. So I want you to just put your paintbrush to the paper and kind of make, I'm gonna be inspired by his shapes. They kind of look, they look like coral to me. Oh yeah, they do, kind of like they're alive. Yeah, so they're kind of just blobs like that. So again, yours can look, I want yours to look different than mine. So then pick a different color and maybe they go this way. So we're just painting blobs right now. They could be different sizes. Some can be really big, some can be small. Maybe we'll make one really, really small. Ooh, those are pretty colors together. So Henry Matisse, like I said, he cut his out. But you know what's so cool is I loved learning that these were made by him in the later part of his life. He was alive from 1869 to 1954. So actually, not that long ago that he passed not away. Not really, yeah, 1954, that was the year my mom was born. <laughs> oh. Right? My dad was born the year before. <laughs> So he was alive when Matisse was wow. born. Wow. But I think it's so cool to know that, he, I mean, you make so many different art throughout your whole life. And I think that's so empowering and so cool to know that anything you create, you can have fun with, you can experiment. 
And so we're done with that step. Now, those are fun colors. Okay, the next step is, is we're going to take our pipe cleaners. And I want you to, <laughs> it reminds me of like preschool, we're gonna be and just have fun and just kind of move this into a different shape. So you can kind of make them similar to these. I don't want you to go too crazy because the, we're gonna glue these shapes to the paper. So kind of make them just bend it a little bit. Pipe cleaners are really fun. It kind of looks like a heart. Oh yeah. So I want you to make a shape. If you have scissors, you can cut them. You don't have to do that, but you can do that. And so what I want you to do is I want you to kind of flatten it. Let's put this off to the side. It's gonna kind of flatten it. That will help when we're gluing. And then anywhere on your painting, we're just gonna have fun. So you, I kind of want to put it right there. So you can put them anywhere you want and you're gonna open up your glue and so you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna add glue to the back like this and then well you made that look easy <laughs> then we're just gonna place it anywhere so we're kind of overlapping and this is inspired by how he used paper to make his shapes we're kind of, we're using pipe cleaners to make our shapes yeah. i read on the internet that he made a unique way to do it create art with scissors and that was this and that was this these paintings he yeah. had a bunch of them also he wasn't an artist first what was he first a court administrator he was like whoa a judge yeah or he was a lawyer he studied law and passed the bar in 1887. Wow, I did not I know that. I know. That even more shows that you can do anything. Yeah. He changed careers. He did. And he got out of the grain business, which his father wanted him to take over. He said, nope, <laughs> I'm going to do law. And then he said, never mind, I'm going to do, do art. art. And his dad was <laughs> upset. So when you're doing this, it might come off a little bit, but here's what I'm thinking is I want to do one more shape to show you, and then I'm going to grab some heavy books and that will help it stay. So it's okay if it pops up a little bit. Let me move kind of quickly and we're going to make one more shape. And you know what's cool here? Let me flip this over on our sheet. There are some other fun facts and the style that Matisse was a part of during that time because a lot of the famous artists kind of had a style that they did and what he created in is called Fauvism, which I may mm -hmm. be saying that wrong. No, you're right. But it's an expressive painting style that uses bright colors and for him it was spontaneous strokes. So that makes sense because we were kind of making spontaneous strokes. Spontaneous means that kind of doing in the moment rather than thinking too much about it and overthinking. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Good save. So let's add some like that anywhere. So we're just repeating that step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna ask Keenan to grab some heavy books or heavy books. something. Maybe it's your box. That I help. have just <laughs> But what I want you to do is <laughs> You're going to put a piece of paper and then you're going to put something heavy over it so that way it stays. Here you go. Nice. Okay, so anything anything heavy. We had some paint. Oh, that actually works great. Does it? Yeah. Oh, nice. So what we're doing is you're going to let that sit because that will help it set. So the glue needs to dry and even if you, ch I don't even want to check it. If it doesn't work, just do it again, add more glue, and then try and repeat those steps, but it'll stay eventually, so it'll look like this. Ooh. Not fun? Yes. So you can make more. This, is, this was a, a quick, fun project, and again, we were inspired by Henri Matisse, and he's a French artist, and he made these really cool paintings with all these different shapes, or painting. I wonder if he called them paintings. So 
when he was bedridden for three months. Mm -hmm. That's what they they said he called it painting. He but did. Okay. He used scissors and paper and yeah. got the desired effect eventually. Yeah. It's like a different craft. It's yeah. cool. It's so much fun. Art is so cool to be able to do so many different things. And remember, you are an artist too. So thank you for painting this with us. It's fun to learn about all these different famous artists that we've been learning about. Tell us which one was your favorite one. Mm -hmm. And we also want to see your painting. So smile when it's dry and take a picture and share with us. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids as well. Oh, the Facebook is Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Mm. Anyways, we hope you had fun doing this and always remember that you're brave, kind, and creative and you very much are an artist. And we'll see you next time. Bye.